NBA Youngboy has beef with almost everyone in the industry, and now he's taking shots at his own artist too. A rapper from Alabama named No Cap used to rock with Lil Baby and 4PF. Then he signed with Youngboy and became cool with all the 4K trade dudes. Now he's got beef with both sides and the whole situation is getting out of control. Here's what's going on. No Cap came up in Mobile, Alabama and started making music at just nine years old. His mom's boyfriend helped No Cap and his brother get into the industry and they were performing all around the city while they were still kids. His mom eventually broke up with the dude and No Cap took a few years off from music. But when he came back, No Cap linked up with his homie, Rilo Rodriguez. And it didn't take long for them to start buzzing. There's not a huge rap scene in Mobile, but No Cap and Rilo was building up momentum fast. In July 2018, No Cap dropped his debut mixtape, and a couple months later, he released a collab tape with Rilo. They linked up with Lil Baby before he was a superstar, and for a while, it looked like No Cap and Rilo were both gonna sign with him. They was all chilling and working together, and Baby even featured No Cap on the track Dreams to Reality off the Street Gossip Project. Baby told The Breakfast Club that he signed Rilo and No Cap. He was helping him grow by putting them on his projects, so it made sense to fans why they signed with him. But No Cap says he never signed a deal with Baby. According to Baby, he ain't even know how to sign anyone yet. Basically, he was rocking with Rilo and No Cap and was gonna sign them once he figured out how to set up his own label. But No Cap wasn't trying to wait around for a deal. Around the same time, No Cap started rocking with Youngboy too. He started getting closer to all the 4K trade dudes like Quando Rondo, and everything was still solid with Baby. In 2019, No Cap dropped the back end child and had features from both camps on the project. It looked like No Cap was gonna stay cool with everyone, but this ended up being the last time he collabed with anyone from 4PF. Rilo signed with Baby, while No Cap signed with Youngboy. And after all the drama that was about to go down, Rilo and No Cap are the only ones who ain't turned on each other. No Cap's name was picking up steam in the industry, but in September 2019, he suffered a setback when he was arrested for letting shots off at someone's house. According to the police, No Cap got into a fight with somebody. After it went down, the victim told No Cap to come through, and that's when No Cap's sister drove him to their house and he started shooting. Luckily, no one got hit, and No Cap ended up turning himself in after his sister got arrested. He picked up even more momentum from behind bars after Youngboy dropped their collab, Out of Here Safe, and then No Cap got released a few months later. According to rumors, No Cap reached out to Lil Baby to squash whatever was going on behind the scenes while he was locked up, but Baby wouldn't respond to him, and that's when the beef started heating up. About a year after he got out, no Cap put his issues with 4PF out in the open after a fan posted a photo of the Lil Baby family tree with No Cap's face and name under babies. No Cap reposted the pic on his IG with a giant red X and wrote, ain't no tree. That's when Baby's artist, Cold Hearted Savage, hopped in the comments and said, he know he wanna be gang. No Cap and Savage started going back and forth in the comments. Then Savage made a post on IG letting everyone know that No Cap was banned from Atlanta. He wrote, he can't come back to Atlanta. He on punishment. We'll take a jewelry on some funny shit. No cap, clap back again. Then young boy and his manager hopped in to back him up. So instead of it just being between no cap and baby, now 4PF and 4K Trey was both at each other's necks. Rilo made a post on his IG story, letting everyone know that he wasn't switching up on no cap, but he was still rocking with 4PF. No cap was on the same way. And on his IG story, he wrote, I love Rilo forever, but to set the record, everything around him. This is when the beef really started turning up. Some dudes in Mobile hop on social media and said that they wouldn't let the DJ play Baby in the club. But then another rapper who No Cap came up with and Project Baby Juice got involved. Juice and No Cap was homies back in the day. So No Cap didn't expect Juice to hop in and pick Baby over him. But Juice made it clear he's rocking with Lil Baby now. And he also did 1600, which is the proof from Mobile that No Cap reps. No Cap aired out the situation on the track, I Hope You Agree, where he said, my n changed on me for n that we barely knew, like that n juice. He took a shot at Lil Baby on the same track with four pockets, they full on me, and I heard the judge want me, acting like a b cause I ain't signed. What type of big homie? Baby clapped back with tracks like Again, Go Hard, where he raps, somebody killed, I'll be telling my youngins to chill. Check the stats, I do numbers for real, and this ain't no cap, I get money for real. That little boy ain't run up no commas for real. Then he referenced Cold Hearted Savage's IG post with the line, catch that boy out of place, we gon' punish him. Take his chain and his watch on some funny shit. It looked like the situation was getting more serious, but then No Cap got locked up again and everything cooled down for a minute. Back in February, No Cap accused Baby of not clearing his unreleased tracks with Rilo. 
Danny took the disrespect a little further when he dropped a comment with a hard eyes emoji to Lil Baby's ex, Jada. Baby and Jada had just broke up, so sliding in her comments for everyone to see was definitely a shot at Baby. While No Cap was beefing with Baby and 4PF, Young Boy, Quando, and the rest of 4K Trey stood up for him. It looked like they was all solid, but now, no Cap is sending shots back and forth with Youngboy, and this situation looks even more heated than his beef with Lil Baby. A few weeks ago, someone on Twitter told No Cap he needs to drop more music with Youngboy. No Cap is still trying to blow up, but he told the fan that he wants to do it on his own so nobody can say he's only popping because of Youngboy. No Cap said they link up with the music later, but for some reason, this whole thing set Youngboy off. Youngboy hopped on the Never Broke Again's IG account and went off on No Cap. He said he's not doing music with no cap because they not cool like that and said you a fucking worker b you ain't my brother b you pay me it looks like there was already static between them behind the scenes and no cap clapped back and said he's been holding it down for young boy for three years while he picks fights with everyone in the industry plus young boy supposedly wanted no cap to pay him for a feature it's wild for a dude like young boy to charge his own artist for a feature but young boy's making it clear he's here to make money not friends after no cap's response Youngboy sent more shots calling him broke and said, you play industry chess, but just don't know this game ain't got no loyalty. These rappers gonna kill your <laughs> Youngboy also said, no cap only linked up with him cause he was popping. But when the beef got real, no cap wouldn't even take a pick with Quando Rondo. Then he threw out another savage line and wrote, go make a song about it bitch. Make me some money, the show must go on. No cap ain't even respond, but Youngboy wasn't finished yet. A while back, people thought no cap was dissing Lil Durk but no cap hop online and squash the rumors. He said that even though he don't talk to Dirk, they keep each other's names out of their mouths. Youngboy brought the situation back up and said it shouldn't even matter if people thought he was dissing an op. Then he called no cap a and said Quando is the only reason he's on the label. No cap responded about not being broke and told Youngboy to get Quando a lawyer, but that was nothing compared to the shots Youngboy took at him. After they started going crazy back and forth, NBA Youngboy's fans dug up No Cap's old Facebook post where he was dissing Youngboy. Back in 2017, before his career popped off, No Cap replied to someone saying they listened to Youngboy 24-7 and said, can't even listen to the boy for 30 minutes. And in another post, he said, next n say YB go harder than Kodak, I'm slapping your mama down. Nobody really knows why Youngboy went off like he did. There could be a lot more going on behind the scenes, but some fans think it's all over No Cap not taking on Youngboy's beef and putting on for the label. Youngboy and the rest of 4K Trey had No Cap's back when he was beefing with Lil Baby, but it seems like No Cap ain't holding down for them the same way. Lil Durk is one of Youngboy's biggest ops in the game right now, so No Cap is out of pocket for trying to stay neutral and worrying about people thinking he dissed him. It's not clear how the situation is going to play out, but it don't look like No Cap and Youngboy are coming back from this. Plus, Youngboy ain't really known for squashing beef. It seems like he was never really tight with No Cap in the first place, so there's basically no chance they're gonna move past it. This whole thing leaves No Cap in a tough spot though. He signed to a label where the main artist and owner is sending heavy shots at him on social media. And he can't just go back and start rocking with Baby and 4PF again. Maybe Youngboy would just release him from his contract, but the situation is far from over. There's no telling what's gonna happen next with Youngboy and No Cap, so y'all tap in for updates as the story develops.